Welcome, welcome, welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Steven, and we're back with our good man, Matt McDermott, and it's beautiful 2012, and this is the Ram 2500 6.7 Cummins. And uh, we're actually discovering a sweet spot to mount the uh, bypass filter. So we're gonna be doing a bypass filter install. We've done all the fluids on this truck. We've done the transmission fluid on it. We've done the coolant. Uh, we've done the motor oil, the engine flush. We've done it all. So all the candies are on that sucker. And the fuel mileage has had a big increase. And uh, he still has a little bit of a fuel contamination issue going on. But we're gonna help things out by going from a 20 micron full flow filter to a two micron bypass filter which routes 10% of the oil filter pump uh, oil through that filter so that 10% goes through and then the 90% goes through the full flow filter so miner is going to be helping us and Jeff is the owner of the shop we got all our billet aluminum super high quality cap that's the cap that goes into the uh, top of the motor where it routes back in it dumps the clean oil we got our bullet proof uh, nylon hose, good for tons of pounds of pressure. Our bypass filter, which filters at two microns. And there it is. There's your efficiency right there. Super high efficiency compared to your average filter. Huge bump in performance. Of course, Jeffries. And there's our billet aluminum thread in. And here is our little end gel. So this is our thread on. 99% efficiency at two microns bypass filter, and this should be lasting 60,000 miles or two years, whichever comes first. So it's a huge, huge, huge upgrade over OEM. You don't have as much soot thickening, and uh, well, we're gonna have the results for you in a little bit. <laughs> so miners looking at a new sweet spot. Yes, sir. And this could be a new profound discovery. Much easier to nail right there at the front of the truck. Super easy. Come down with one hand, just like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just unthread that sucker. Easy as pie. Yeah. Just have to make sure it'll fit on there. And then your hoses, you gotta make sure they... You can route them up. Straight up, and then there's another one that goes up to the oil cap. So we're looking like uh, that's a good sweet spot. They're all dialed in. I will find out for you. Beautiful. It's all threaded on. Looks like we got some good clearance. Oh. Looks good. Yeah, that works. How's she looking, Miner? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Looks real good. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The bolts and hardware that hold this in came with it right here. It's inside that tube. And how easy was it to install miner on a scale of one to ten? <laughs> Pretty easy or hard or a little, a little hard. A little hard, all right. So if you're not used to this stuff, let a mechanic do it. But if you're used to doing this stuff every day, do it yourself. So miner's just doing the 90 degree elbow, real nice. And there's that beautiful hardware and bolt. Super nice. Awesome. We got here, miner. We're routing the other. This is the return. Yep, that's the out. Yeah. That's the out going back up to the oil cap. And that's gonna thread on the oil cap right here. Where is it? Matt has it, it's right here. So this is what it looks like. All billet aluminum. There's gonna be a little uh, 90 degree elbow that goes on there. And that just drips right down into the motor oil. It's got the real nice rubber seal. Absolutely beautiful. So miner's gonna be threading the uh, thread tape on there. And what that does, that ensures a nice seal on your threads. And uh, it's always good to have that extra seal quality. So he's gonna get that done. And we're gonna be starting this little angel up in a minute, but we're gonna show a little before and after what the oil looks like. We're gonna go put some miles on the truck and see how the oil clears up. And if it clears up, we're gonna show it. Right, out with the old oil filter cap. On to our new billet aluminum. Look how beautiful. And we're just getting ready to thread this sucker on. So how's it coming, Miner? 
It's tough. It's like wrangling a damn alligator. Yeah. So he's just threading that sucker on. Does it help with the little oil on the threads when you're doing that? Or? So go ahead, Matt. Let's take a look at this oil. We're going to give you a little before and after so you see what it looks like before. So how many miles are on this oil, Matt? Uh, about 3,000 miles. All right, so it's a brand new oil change, and that's our color. We're pretty dark. A lot of stuff there. So it has that nice painty look. It looks like black paint, and that's common with diesel. Give that a little spin on that on the little twirl. So you can see that dipstick has a nice dark color to it. So uh, we're going to be starting this little angel up in a minute. And we're going to be seeing what this oil looks like from the return from the bypass. And we'll get a chance to go drive. Uh, we'll go drive 10 miles, come back and see what it looks like. So Miner's wrenching away and this connection seems like a damn stickler. Isn't it Miner? Yes. So what does it do? It threads to the outside and then it goes into the inside. So it pinches it on both sides. So it won't leak. And then that just uh, tightens up and that's it. Beautiful. Look how clean that is. Goes right down in. And that's it. Looks like uh, we're bulletproofed. Okay. There we go. Miner did the finishing touches. Tying the motor up, huh? Yep. All right. Matt. You know what time it is. We're up time. I think it's that time. Yes. Let's do it. Woo. There she blows. What? There she blows. What? Looks good. Let's take a look, Matt. Go ahead, take that cap off. Let's see what she looks like. She should be draining nice and easy. A moment of truth. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So that's exactly 10% of the oil flow of the full flow filter. 90% is going through the full flow filter. 10% is going through the bypass. Well, Matt, you ready to go terrorizing, shredding? Yeah. Look at him. He's so curious. He's he's thinking, is it real? Can you believe it's on, Matt? That was awesome. Is it warm? Here we go. Can no you leaks, no can you believe there's no leaks? Look at that. Look at that. Ah, there it is. Snug. The touch of an angel. Thank you, Jeffries. Yes, sir. All right. So Matt's checking the oil level. How did it look, Matt? Uh, there's oil on the dipstick. All right. Um, we're gonna do a next dip and see if we need to add any. All right. Sounds good. So we're gonna see how much oil it took out of the crankcase now that we got the extra filter. Right, and, but there will be oil up up top though. So uh huh. Actually, I need to let it drain down. Yeah. Drain down. For um, about ten minutes, if you wanted to do it perfectly, right? Or next day. Yep. Um. Wow, that looks great. We're at the add just a wow. A little bit below. Just above the add mark. Yeah, so we could add one quart and we should be bulletproof. And if you don't know, inside here in Express Lube and Auto Repair, we have a very, very, very special part of the channel, Jeff. Now, Jeff's been away for a little bit, but he's back. He's better than ever improved. Show the new glasses, Jeffries. Yes. Jeff could essentially be, shave that puss, he could be a tech startup in San Francisco making apps making new computer software. Jeff is like a Swiss army knife. He does everything. So if you want anything with your car, you know where to come to Express Lube. Do you have a contact number, Jeff? Sure do. Call us up at 702-433-5823 uh, or hit me on the text line 702-907-9227. And Jeff, what is this stuff behind you? Ooh, we have ourselves a wonderful little magic store. Uh, we have all sorts of uh, 
Fantastic game. We have Wonder Lights, Sponge Balls, Top Secret, Wizard Stripper Dex, Mangali Deck, Ultimate Levitation, Cut and Restored Rope, Three Rope Mystery, Hundred Dollar Bell Switch, Comedy Torn and Restored Newspaper, Rubber Bands. And which one's your favorite? <sighs> My favorite is probably going to be, uh, if I had to pick one, it's the Cut and Restored Rope. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes your ropes don't behave as they're supposed to, and uh, you know, sometimes they get a little bit, uh, a little bit naughty. So if they get knotted up, you just got to take it out like this. But even better than that, we take the rope here, and we're gonna about half the rope, perfect. Put it up here. We're gonna give ourselves a nice little snap rope. Now this is my favorite part, watch. Just like this. Okay, a little knot right there. Oh, that's nice. Nice and tight. Now watch. Put a little spray on there. This is magic mechanic spray. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, dude. Slides oh right off. How do you do that? There's some amsoil inside of there. It's a high luminosity. That's unreal. Oh, cool. <laughs> Matt's putting in the liquid gold. The uh, 1540 Signature Series Max Duty, 100% synthetic. And we're gonna stick in an extra quart and that's gonna take up the slack of the lines plus the uh, new bypass filter. Now, if you don't know about this oil, oh this God. oil, uh-huh, what do you need, Matt? All right, I'll grab a funnel. Yeah, it's okay. So if you don't know, this oil actually has six times more wear protection than the Detroit diesel standard. So you'll see that that's uh, wear test. So basically your rings will last exponentially longer. You'll have higher compression and you'll have much less fluid changes and it meets all the specifications of all the major motor manufacturers. It won't void your warranty. And uh, what you can expect is to get much better fuel mileage. You're gonna see a bump in engine braking, which we did a, a, a fluid change on a uh, pack car MX-13 motor and now Matt his motor's running great but he has a little bit of a, a fuel contamination issue but we're going to talk more about that later but there goes the liquid gold beautiful as can be and now we know we're all topped off we're going to be safe so now we're going to go put 10 miles on her really circulate that oil and we're going to see how that color of the oil that comes through the bypass changes it's going to be neat to see what that oil looks like after 10 miles. So, uh, well, Matt, you ready to hit the road? Yes. Let's do it. Yeah. So there you have the mileage on this little angel and fuel efficiency. So is that pretty close to accurate there, that 20? Yeah, I have not reset it for, since the last oil change, which was about, well, my mileage when I changed it was 177083. Wow. That was my mileage, and my mileage now is 183260. Wow. So, without resetting my dummy um, mileage computer, it's pretty good mileage. Yeah, it is. And that's just the beginning of this oil change. So, we're going to be monitoring heavily this uh, fuel contamination, which he's had a little bit of, right. but... Uh, with less soot, a little bit better sealing of the cylinders, this could knock it down a little. Plus, he's thinking about getting um, a tuning software, so that could be coming up too. Yes. So that can heavily change it. And uh, so now we're headed up Boulder Highway, pretty cool area out here. And if you head this way, you go right up to Boulder City. A lot of really cool stuff out here in the desert. Wow, this thing pulls nice. Yes. Wow. It's beautiful. So tell them, Matt, how did it feel when we switched out the fluids? Oh as my we goodness. Uh, from vanilla oil to hams oil, it's been like night and day. It's like, hello, why didn't we all do it sooner? Yeah. Like, hello. But anyway, yeah, um, it's, I, get, I get better mileage. Um, like when I'm, I'm driving down the highway with a thicker dyno oil, 1540 I'm getting like 15 miles per gallon and now with the amp oil I get 17 and then when I went to a lighter grade oil which is still recommended for this truck I get right now I'm at 
20 point um, road to city is getting 20 miles per gallon. Wow. And uh, so when I'm doing highway, I got it all the way up to 20.2. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. So yeah, we did the uh, we did the bully dog. Uh, then we do the bully dog. What is it called? DPF filter. Yeah, we did a DPF filter on Matt's truck, so check that out up here in the corner. Also check out the transmission fluid change we did up here in the corner. The engine flush, the 17,000 mile oil analysis uh, follow-up video. So definitely check that out up here in the corner. So we're going to go put this highway miles on this thing, and we're going to show you what the oil coming out looks like and how it's cleared up. We'll see how much it clears up. All right, we're back after 12 miles of driving on the highway, and we're gonna check our uh, dipstick level. So we got her clean. Yes. Let's check her out. They're all wiped, wiped down. Yep, so we added one quart. Second, perfect. Looks real good. Let's see how sooty looking this is. Let's see. Still pretty dark, but I think that's going to definitely clean up as we drive her. So awesome. Yeah. Final check on her. Yep. She pretty looks cool. good. She looks real good. Everything looks good. Awesome. Sweet. Back at Express Lube, and uh, so we got asked the question, Matt, are you happy? I am. I'm extremely happy. All right, I am too. We've been wanting to do this for what two years almost. Oh boy, oh seems my. like eternity. I know. So yeah, definitely. If you ever have any questions with this, definitely uh, reach out to me. Reach out to Matt. You know, we're all uh, all about helping. And and Jeff. Jeff is uh, always here for everyone and uh, check out everything right here in the middle on all the stuff we did on Matt's truck. And uh, remember, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, tap the notification bell. We got Evens End of Month giveaway every last Saturday of the month. So leave a comment on any of the new videos. And uh, I randomly go down, pick people, just randomly. Some, some videos I pick two people, some videos I don't pick anybody. So you just never know when I go through and pick some people. And I uh, want to thank all my uh, preferred customers like Matt. Thank you so much, Matt, for Absolutely. always being a part of the channel. Yeah, and Matt's helped out tremendously and he's really helped a lot of people learn about their truck to really take care of it at the highest level. So uh, remember to check out that uh, playlist on all the fluids we did on Matt's truck. And uh, if you wanna try the products in the description section below, if you click show more, or if you're on a uh, desktop last, uh, laptop, it'll say show more. If you're on a phone, little reverse down arrow you'll see all the links to Amsoil those are all my links and if you use many of my links I'll be your Amsoil dealer so you can always ask me any questions anything else we should add Matt no other than uh, Amsoil is the way to go protection 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 all right cheers oh don't uh -huh. forget where the better exactly always keep it wet and protected and you'll always know it'll be happy right correct yep all right Cheers to protection, protection, protection.